on the menu today. I think that if you'd presented me with, with both names from the very beginning, I would have probably picked this new one. The new name for the Commander X-16 is... Welcome. No, I'm sure it's Kilobytes, not Dogbytes. Oh, hello, Chip Dippers. Welcome to Retro Recipes. And welcome to a video with some, well, good news and bad news. What would you like first? All right, sorry. Oh, this is pre-recorded. Sorry, I can't actually hear you. My bad. But anyway, we're talking about the Commander X-16 today. And when we named the product to begin with, we went through quite a process. You know, originally it was the Commander 16. We realized that was going to be confused with the C-16, the Commodore 16. But we still wanted something, you know, nostalgic and evocative of that kind of feel. You know, Commodore, um, Commodore 64, VIC-20, and even the logo. We wanted it to be something that perhaps was similar to or would remind you of the Commodore Chicken Lips logo. And we went through the whole process and came out with Commander X-16. And we loved it, you know, it was, it was nostalgic to us. And one thing you might notice, you've, you've certainly pointed it out to me a few times, is that on the end of our logo is the little TM symbol. And as part of the context for this, I need to explain to you the difference between TM and the R in a circle. Now, TM basically means we are, we're calling this our trademark. We are putting it out there and notifying people on the logo that this is ours. But it's not a registered trademark. <laughs> she inches closer for tummy tickles. Registered trademark is where you put the R in the circle. And that means that you've actually registered the product with the uh, US Patent and Trademark Office, the US PTO. Yeah, makes sense. So we didn't register it, partly because it's very expensive to do so, partly because, you know, this is a not-for-profit product and we don't really think people are going to be cloning this <laughs> en masse in China. But I did do a lot of due diligence and as part of that due diligence, one thing that's important to me was to make sure that nobody else was already using the commander name because obviously we would then be infringing on their trademarks. And we don't want to do that, right? Right. So I did an extensive search. Now, another crucial thing to note just before I uh, explain what's going on is that it's perfectly okay for you to use a trademark that's the same as a trademark in a different sales category. For example, if we were launching Commander Dog Treats, for example, well, let's pretend that these are they, it would be okay to call them Commander Dog Treats, even if there was already a Commander computer, because the acid test is, high five, would a consumer get confused, feed them to their dog, and think they were feeding their dog a computer? Well, no, clearly not. So I was researching purely in computer category and there was some similar kind of things, but nothing that was a, a trademark that was you know, still being upheld and, and paid the renewal fees for and nothing in specifically computers. So, you know, I did my due diligence and here are some of the examples of similar products that I found. Well, as you can see, there was a lot of them. Now, I did mention that this is gonna be a good news and bad news kind of video. So firstly, yes, emotional support dog is ready for the bad news. Uh, I received a letter from a law firm stating that they represented a client who had, you guessed it, a similar name, and it wasn't ice cream. Somehow I had missed this in the searches, and this is probably why we should have hired a proper lawyer uh, to do this, but again, we are not-for-profit, and it's not the end of the world, you know, we're, we're pre-launch, so companies change names of products all the time, but they did say that if we launched with Commander X-16, we would be facing a cease and desist and be facing a lawsuit. I phoned David and we spoke to the rest of the team and came to the perhaps obvious decision, we need to change the name away from Commander X-16. Now, we're, we're pretty sad about this to begin with. Now, I'm not going to name the company because there are no hard feelings here. You know, it, it is our fault, um, your fault particularly. I did give you that half of the alphabet to search through. But from the bad news to the good news, we do have a brand new name for the product. And I'm actually really excited about it. I'm really happy with it. And I think, well, I'm going to let Guy explain. That. That's his name, right? 8-Bit Guy. Because he's really happy with it too. 
I mean, ultimately, I was disappointed that we had to change the name, but, uh, you know, I mean, it is what it is. And, you know, interesting thing is, after the last 10 days or so, I've actually kind of gotten used to it. In fact, I think that if you'd presented me with, with both names from the very beginning, I would have probably picked this new one uh, after all. So, you know, I think it's probably worked out best for the project. Yep, we are actually really excited about the new name. Before I reveal it to you, for the first time here, she's excited as well. That's, that's how she uh, exhibits her excitement is with, with a, you know, sort of excited, excited yawn. We should first thank PCB Way. You didn't duck, did you? PCB Way have been really supportive to us in, in this change. And they've also been supportive to us with PCBs. <laughs> for the new prototypes. So obviously we are getting those reproduced with the new logo on. So thank you PCB Way for keeping us furnished in new prototype PCBs and supporting us in our reassignment. So I think the only thing I can do now is announce the brand new name. Are you gonna stay here for this? No, she's just too excited. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the new name for the Commander X16 is The Chicken Lips 16 is designed to evoke the same fondness and nostalgia many of us had for 8-bit computers, whilst retaining closeness to the hardware from a programming perspective. But more than that, Chicken Lips 16 is intended not only as an educational tool, but to solve some of the issues of finding an 8-bit system to tinker with today, namely ever-increasing costs, auction site price gouging and sniping, lack of replacement parts, and unreliability of 30-year-old hardware. Chicken Lips 16 will be so reliable and nostalgic that we like to think of it as the chicken that laid the olden egg. Chicken Lips 16 will be made entirely with parts that are still readily available today, ensuring perpetual availability without reliability issues. Running the newly renamed Chicken Lips Basic version 3, our Chicken Lips will be inexpensive enough to allow a critical mass of users to create an expansive software ecosystem, but simple enough that a single person can understand all of the chicks, sorry, chips and components that allow that software to run on the Chicken Lips 16 itself. Chicken Lips 16. It's not made of aluminium, but we still rate it hen out of hen. If you take a look at our website now, you can see that it's all being rebranded, Chicken Lips 16, and you can now head over to chickenlips.com for all your software library and forum needs. Also, if you did buy a deluxe keyboard from WASD that is branded with the old name that will no longer be spoken, he who shall not be named, you can now buy a replacement keyboard topper with the Chicken Lips 16 logo on there instead. What do you think about the Chicken Lips name? And thank you. Hello, ma'am. Uh, what do you think about the new name? Thank you very much. We've settled on a new name. It is Chicken Lips 16. What do you think of that? Uh, um... I think... You like it, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Sure. It's great. And we also needed a name for the assembly environment, sort of an easy-to-use Windows notepad for assembly, which gave me the perfect idea for what to name an assembly notepad. As always, please subscribe and support below. From me, Puppy Fractic, and the 9-Bit Guy, we hope you love the chicken lips. <laughs> chicken lips. <laughs> Why am I crying? Stop crying. <clears throat> Pull yourself together. Is Okay. Chicken lips. 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 I can't say it. I can't do it anymore. Oh.
guys, happy April 1st to all of you. Yes. I oh, know, it was a joke. Of course there is no chicken. <laughs> Chickens don't even have lips. <laughs> don't worry, Commander X16 is here to stay. Uh, David himself will be, not Guy, will be back soon with a slightly more serious and cool update about, yes, the Commander X16. I'll be back soon with some more normal content. Until then, thanks for watching. Comment below and chicken lips. <laughs> <Cheerio>. <laughs> I can't <laughs> Oh, we're okay, we're okay. Now I can do it, now I can do it. <laughs> Why do I sound like I've been smoking?